Lengths that fans are going to support their birds is absolutely incredible. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live at the Art Museum. She has a look at how the city is preparing for the big game. Hey, Jan. Jim and Rahel, good morning. Despite this dreary weather we're having this morning, doesn't the city look absolutely fantastic dressed up in green? I want to take you around this morning from Boathouse Row to the Eagle flying across the Sierra Center there to Pico's green scrolling letters atop its building and the green rooftops on the apartments all along the Ben Franklin Parkway. Philly is ready for Super Bowl Sunday and so is the mayor inside City Hall. What he's doing to help the team has now gone viral. Oh, no. Mayor Jim Kenny has proven he doesn't want to jinx the Eagles. Remember, he refused to put a jersey on the William Penn statue atop City Hall? Well, now he's stepping up his game a notch. In a now viral video posted to Snapchat, Mayor Kenny shows he's going to great now, lengths to do his part in helping now, the Eagles pull off the W Belichick. come Sunday. Up. Brady. From salt over the shoulder to burning sage and stopping people from opening umbrellas indoors, the mayor is on top of it. I didn't pick up all the segments of the of the video, but it was fun doing it, right. especially the sage stick. I love that one. <laughs> the sage it's my stick. favorite. Really <laughs> my like office that. smelled for an hour, okay. hours after that. <laughs> Meantime, the entire city is getting in on the action. The Philly skyline bleeds Eagles green, and thanks to new technology, and for only the second time in its 87-year history. So do the lights atop the historic Philadelphia Saving Fund Society building. When we converted, we pulled all of the neon tubes out of the channels and replaced it with the LED drivers. That conversion happened in 2016 to the tune of $250,000. PSFS, decked out in green, can now be seen 20 miles away. The historic building is now home to the Lowe's Hotel, and the hotel's managing director says the decision to change from red to green was an easy one. The vibrancy of the city right now, everyone's feeling great. Great about the Eagles. We want to support the city. When the Eagles win, we're going to definitely keep this sign green for a few more days. Then we'll convert back to the, the original red. But not a moment too soon. There it is, PSFS shining brightly in green this morning. And of course, everyone is getting in on the bleeding green action, including us here at CBS3. We're going to have it on through Sunday, and I have a good feeling through the rest of next week as well. We're reporting live atop the Art Museum steps. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. We're Holland Jim, back into you. Really?